I'm Olivia Marsh. I completed a Master's of Education and a PGC in Secondary English with the Faculty of Education at the University of Cambridge. And this is an overview of my paper, Following the Breadcrumbs, Young Adult Holocaust Novels and Their Intertextual Use of Fairy Tales. I analysed the text Gretel in the Dark by Eliza Granville and its intertextual use of the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. Holocaust fiction provokes questioning around the ethics of representing the unrepresentable, and for younger readers, how much trauma is too much trauma to communicate. This is especially important if they are perhaps learning about events of the Holocaust for the first time. One of the key concerns is that readers will not be able to discern between the elements of the narrative that are historically accurate and which are artistic creation. Experimental forms, such as ones which use fairy tales, exacerbate this concern. I analysed how fairy tales were used in the text, and my paper focuses on explicit incorporation of fairy tales within the narrative. For example, when a character tells the story of the robber bridegroom to the young protagonist Krista. And metafiction, when fairy tales are discussed by the characters of the text. One of the characters, upon seeing a copy of the fairy tales collected by the brothers Grimm, comments on its suitability for children. I wanted to explore what could be gained and what problems might arise through the intertextual references. My main conclusions were that intertextual references can potentially be frustrating for a reader unable to grasp the connections between the texts. I find that the use of non-realist storytelling techniques, such as frame silences, meta-frame silences and metafictional elements, allows the reader to actively collaborate with the work of fiction in meaning making and to build literary competence. Most strikingly in relation to ethics and Holocaust fiction, Intertextuality and metafiction create cracks in the text which point to its own fictionality. Mm -hmm.